What is up you guys? My name is Brianna and today I'm going to share with you guys how to get this deep sea mermaid inspired look using the Blood Sugar Pal from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And also we are going to be using a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. That is where I got the blue. But overall we are going to be using this palette and this morning when I was trying to figure out like what kind of look I wanted to do, I really was kind of looking for a palette I haven't used in a hot minute. And I saw this one out of the corner of my eye and I was like, girl, we need to use it. Like, I don't know, like, there's just something really fun and special about this palette. I just love the color story. And if you'd like to see my original review on the Blood Sugar palette, I'll have it linked in the description box down below for you. And I'll also include all of the tutorials I have done using this palette as well, in case you'd like to check them out. But before we jump into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page, it is at lethal underscore kitten. So as you guys know, we have to prime our eyelids before we jump into using the palette just to give our shadows a really nice base and make sure those colors get extra punchy. So I'm just going to go in with my absolute favorite today, which is from Anastasia. So the palette that we are going to be revisiting today, honestly, I don't remember the last time that I used it here on YouTube, and that is the Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And like, don't get me wrong, like, I actually really like this palette. I think it's a lot of fun, and if you're into reds, you'll probably really enjoy this one. But I don't know, like I just haven't been using it recently and I thought we would revisit it today. I'll stop my rambling, but the first shade that we are going to be going in with is this really pretty bright pink in the palette called Cavity. And I'm just going to take this shadow on this uh, Profusion Pointed Crease Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm just going to be popping that right into my crease, using it to round out my outer V. And then doing these little circular motions to blend that upwards towards my brow. But, ooh baby, like that is such a pigmented pink, like that one's really nice. I actually kind of forgot like how intense this pink was. I thought I was going to have to build it up a little bit, but nope. She is a one dip wonder. So I am going to build up this shadow just a little bit, just to make sure it's all nice and even. You definitely don't have to build it though, like it is definitely like a one dip wonder. But I'm just really picky with my shadow. But man, like this color though gives me complete Barbie vibes. Like, I don't know about you guys, but this one just screams Barbie to me. Okay, but like real talk though, like this pink is so pretty. It's just so bright and electric. But the next shade that we're going to be going in with is another bright one in this palette. And that is this beautiful purple shade called Root Canal. So I'm just going to take Root Canal on this Luxie 229 Taper Blending Brush. And I'm just going to be popping it right into my crease. And again, using it to round out my outer V. And I'm going to warn you, it is going to get rid of a little bit of that like bright pink look that we have going on, but trust me, it's going to look super cool in the end. And I'm just going to build up this color, but man, like these two colors together are so pretty. Like I cannot get enough of them. And I don't know if you're like this too, but I have been so obsessed with pinks and purples recently. Like I don't know what happened, but like that is the only color I really want to wear right now. But I go in these kicks where I'm like super obsessed with like a color for a short period of time, but in that period of time, it is the only color I want to wear and truly the only color that I really get inspired to do looks around. And I don't know, like, are you guys like that too? I find it kind of annoying because I want to use other palettes sometimes. But hey, at least I'm having fun though if I use the colors that I want to use, right? Now listen, the next shade that we are going to be going in with, you have to be so careful with because sometimes it can be really tricky to work with and blend out, but that is this kind of like darker purple shade called Coma. Now when you are using this shadow, I highly recommend and cannot stress enough to work in really light layers and really build up that color, but I'm going to take it on this Luxie uh, 243 Precision Blending Brush, and ever so slightly I'm going to be applying it into my crease and using it to round out my outer V. And when I'm applying it, I'm doing these little tiny circular motions. And this will also help blend it into everything else. But seriously, like, you just have to be really careful with this shade because it is like harsh line city if you're not. But the best way I have found to work with this shadow is just to work in the lighter layers and build it up. And this will also really help to get a nice seamless blend. Man, like, these shades are literally, like, my obsession right now. Like, they are so pretty. Oh, why did I, like, fling my brush? <laughs> but literally, like, I'm just really liking these so far. Let me know in the comments down below, though, what shades that you have been really gravitating towards recently. You know, whether that is, like, a dark green, you know, mustard yellow, bright orange. I would love to hear it. I am seriously so excited with how this is turning out so far. I don't know about you guys, but these colors are totally my thing. And I just cannot wait to see the full and finished glam once we get it all complete. And I think today, though, I do want to do something kind of spicy with the lid and kind of play around with it. But before we do that, I am going to quickly cut my crease just so we have a really nice base for the lid. And I'm just going to use that ABH eye primer that we used earlier. 
So after cutting my crease, as you can see, I have this really ugly, harsh line right here because I forgot to tap it out. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Root Canal on this brush from Luxie. It is a 227 blending brush. And it's kind of like one of those pinch type. And I'm just going to take the flatter side and start packing Root Canal right on that harsh line. And when I'm doing this, I'm really making sure that I'm pressing it in. Once you have it packed down, I'm just going to start taking my brush and start feathering it inwards just to help it blend into the lid shade that we're going to apply in a second. So for the lid today, I really want to go in with this Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. It's from the Mint to Be collection. And this one is called Mint For You. And it's like this really dark mint shade, but it has a lot of silver to it. And I'm just going to be applying this to the lid using a flat shader brush. Oh yeah, like this is definitely what I was going for. Like, oh, I love this shade. It is so pretty next to the purples. But I will say, like, Super Shock Shadows work a lot better with your fingers, but since we did do a cut crease today, I like to use a brush first, just to get it really nice and crisp. And then afterwards, I like using my finger just to get the glitter factor. Now I'm just going to use it on my finger and apply it to the lid. Man, like, that color is so cool. It definitely gives me, like, mermaid vibes in a way. It just has a really cool look to it. And I'm also slightly overlapping it with that dark purple that we used in the outer vein just to make sure everything is all nice and blended together. Now, I don't know if you like this too, but lately I have been so obsessed with colored liner and I found this one in my collection. It is from NYX and this is called the Epic Wear Waterproof Liner in the shade Sapphire and it's like this really bright blue shade. So I just opened it up for the first time, but like look how bright that blue is. Like she's pretty. I don't think I have a blue like this in my collection, honestly, other than this one. Like this is a really cool shade. Okay, but like this blue liner though is so pretty on the eyes. Like man, like I cannot stop staring at that color. But I will say if you've never tried out the Epic Wear liners from NYX, I cannot recommend them enough. Like they're super pigmented and they have like a gel-like consistency to them. They're really awesome. And if you want to try out like my favorite shade, I would definitely recommend checking out the white one. Just because it does not get like crusty, it doesn't flake, and it's like one swipe coverage. And then for mascara today, we're just going to go in with this one from Benefit. It is Bad Gal Bang. I really like this one. I think it's super nice. It makes my lashes look super fluffy. And then for lashes today, I'm just going to use these ones from Morphe. They're in the style Yas Queen. They're super fluttery. So for face primer today, I'm just going to go in with this one from Ola Hendrickson. And this is the Banana Bright Face Primer. This one smells so good. Like, it literally smells like creamsicles. And I'm doing about two pumps. And I'm gonna rub it between my fingers and then apply it. But man, like this one literally smells like summer to me. So for foundation today, we're just gonna use one that I have been just loving recently, and that is the Born to Glow from NYX. And we're gonna go in with shade Light Porcelain. But if you're looking to try out a really nice foundation and you want one from the drugstore, I cannot recommend this one enough. Okay, we're going to try to go a little bit lighter on the coverage today. I know how that's going to go because I'm a full coverage kind of gal, but we're going to we're going to try it out. And then I'm just going to blend it out using my Morphe sponge. Oh man, I just love how this one looks on the skin. Like I feel like every time I use this foundation, I have a really good skin day. And I don't know about you guys, but like when my skin looks kind of bad, like I just don't feel as confident. I don't know what is up with that. I think it's because I had really bad acne growing up and I don't know like people in my family like they would say some comments and it would just really bring me down. So like if I feel like my skin looks bad like I just like my whole day is almost wrecked sometimes. And I know that sounds really dramatic but it's just how I am. But I will say like this foundation is definitely not full coverage. You can build it up but it's definitely more so of like a medium with a natural finish. So then for contour today, we're just going to go in with my absolute favorite, which is the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Amber. I'm just going to contour my whole face, because your girl, she had pizza last night, and I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I have pizza, I get so puffy the next day. So we need to chisel on these cheeks and get everything all nice and sharp. And I'm just going to start blending it out using a different side of that Morphe sponge. But I just want to tell you guys this, but I'm kind of considering rebranding my channel right now. And like when I say rebranding, I might change like my channel name. I might change like some of the like images that you guys see. So, you know, like my channel banner might be changed as well as like the end kind of like thing on my videos that says Lethal Kitten. Because I don't know, like I'm kind of debating if I want to get rid of the whole Lethal Kitten thing. I'm kind of on the fence about it. 
So I'm just warning you guys, you might see some visual changes here soon. But I'm not 100% sure if I even want to do it. Like, I'm really on the fence about it. Because I've done, like, the whole lethal kit and thing for so many years. And I kind of have, like, an attachment to it in a way because of it. Because it's always been, like, my username on so many things. So, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of debating on it, though. So, I just wanted to let you guys know in case you guys are like, well, Hey, where did Brianna go? Like, I'm going to be here. And also, you guys will see no changes with my content. We're going to be doing the exact same thing. It's just going to be, like, a visual update type of thing. But I just wanted to let you guys know in case you're like, Brianna hasn't been uploading, I can't find her channel, like what happened, did she delete it? Because nothing is going to change with my content or my videos, it's just going to be like visual things, it's like very minuscule. But I don't know, like I just kind of am on the fence if I want to do it or not. I have like literally so many ideas too I have to sift through. Because I don't know about you guys, but like I love brainstorming. But at the same time, it's really hard for me to like pick my absolute favorite thing I want to do too. But I'll definitely keep you guys posted if I decide to do it or not. Anywho, so for concealer today, we're going to go in with this one from Makeup Revolution. And this is called Super Size. Uh, that is what she said. And this is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in shade C0.5. I can't get over, like, how big this applicator is. But I'm just going to apply it right underneath my eyes. A little bit on my nosy. And then in my smile lines, as well as a little bit on my chin. And then using that Morphe sponge, I'm just going to blend this one out right away. Normally I wait a couple of minutes with concealer, but this one you can't do it with. Like, it dries down super fast. But, like, it just makes my under eyes look so nice. That is a reason I have been really liking it recently. I also really like the coverage as well as it just has, like, a really nice color to it. If you've tried the foundation out of this line, please let me know in the comments down below, like, what you think about it. Because I've heard so many mixed reviews on it. Like, people say it's only for oily skin types. Other people have said it works well for everybody. But I'm just not 100% sure. So if you've tried it, let me know what you think about it. So for loose powder today, I'm just going to go in with one of my all-time favorites. And this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This one literally makes my under eyes look so blurred. I love it. Like, if I'm looking cakey or crusty, like, this one just makes everything look nice. And I'm, again, just applying it with that Morphe sponge dampened. So for powder contour today, I'm going to go in with this product from Wet n Wild. This is the Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. And to me, this one looks a little bit more like a contour powder. Now I'm just going to go in with this brush from Moda and start putting it in the areas where we apply that Fenty Matchstick. Just to help bring a little bit more color back to our face. I know like this product is technically a bronzer, but man does it look really neutral on me, which I actually really prefer because that's my favorite type of contour powder. You know, not something super cool toned and not something super warm, like right in the middle. I also just really like the formula of it because it's not super pigmented, so you have a lot to give with it and also builds up really nice. I don't know about you guys, but after applying my complexion products, I always have to go in with lipstick next. Otherwise, I just don't get like that sense of balance anymore. But we're going to go in with this one from Melt. Um, this is the matte lipstick in the shade Old Rose. It's like this really beautiful mauve, but it has like a little bit of a brown undertone to it. I am definitely not on my A game today applying lipstick. Like, she is looking real uneven. So now we're going to start working on the lower lash line, and I'm first going to line my waterline using this ColourPop Gel Liner Pencil in the shade Charmer. Now we got to act quick before this gel liner pencil sets, because otherwise it is really hard to blend out. But I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Rook Canal, that bright purple that we used earlier. And I'm going to go in with this Profusion Small Pointed Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm just going to start smoking down the pencil, doing these little back and forth motions. So for the inner corner highlight today, we're just going to go back in with that palette, and we're going to go in with this like icy pink shade, and it's called Candy Floss. Then using this little tiny Luxie pencil brush, I'm going to be packing the shit out of this into my inner corner. And I'm also bringing it underneath the inner tear duct area to open up the eye. Man, like, that is just not blinding at all. Like, I thought this one was supposed to be blinding. I'm just gonna, like, build it up to see if we can get it a little bit more intense. I mean, like, the color itself is cute. I just, I don't know. Like, I want something really intense today, and this is just not it. And, like, mind you, my brush is dampened. 
So to help you brighten up that inner corner just a little bit, I'm going to go in with this Sleek Makeup Solstice Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to go in with this super icy shade right here. And then using the same brush, I'm just going to be packing the shit out of this into my inner corner. I'm also bringing it underneath as well. Oh yeah, like that definitely made such a difference. And keep in mind though, do as I say and not as I do with this palette because you're technically not supposed to use it on your eyes. For me personally, I don't have sensitive eyes so I'm not worried about it. But if you do, you probably won't want to use it for this. It still has really nice highlighters though if you don't want to use it on your eyes. Like, they're really nice and blinding. So for blush today, I'm just going to go in with this one from Tarte, and man, I love the packaging. It is super cute and super sparkly. But this is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade B-Day Bay, and it's kind of like a neutrally pink. So I'm just going to stipple this blush onto my cheekbones using this KVD Vegan Beauty. I believe it is a number 25 brush. It's a blush brush. I'm also slightly rounding it around my eye as well. I really like this blush shade though because it literally goes with everything. And last but not least for a highlighter today, I'm just going to go back in with that Solstice palette and I'm going to go in with this peachy shade. And I'm just going to be applying it right to my cheekbones using this Moda Brushes Highlight and Glow Brush. But it's such a beautiful wet sheen of a highlight. Like, I'm surprised more people don't talk about this palette anymore. Because for the longest time it was super hype, but now I never see anybody use it. It's really, really nice. So here's the finish like using the blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I seriously love how this turned out. Like it kind of gives me like dark glam mermaid type of vibes. I don't know if you guys feel like that too but it kind of has like a deep sea kind of moment to me. But like I think it turned out super cool. Like it has like that dark kind of grungy look to it. It's also really bright and super sparkly which you guys know I absolutely love. But in the comments down below let me know if you'd like to see more looks using the blood sugar palette because if you guys would like to see them I would love to do them. But as always though, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and also gave this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page, it is at lethal underscore kid. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!